Mr. President, I rise in support of Senate Resolution 251. As noted by the good gentleman from Cumberland County, this resolution comes on the heels of a Supreme Court decision giving Texas the go-ahead to enforce their state law in the fight against illegal immigration. I think that the governor of Texas successfully and rightfully argued for a state solution due to federal inaction on the immigration crisis impacting our southern border. And the governor of Texas said, President Biden's deliberate inaction has left Texas to fend for itself. The illegal immigration crisis is impacting us all. As previously noted by my colleague from Lancaster County, when he articulated that taxpayers are on the hook for three and a half million dollars after an illegal immigrant escaped a prison in Chester County. And that does not cover the cost of the ongoing litigation. Now, this illegal immigrant is housed in a state prison in Greene County at the cost to Pennsylvania taxpayers. More importantly, it does not cover the life that he took here in Pennsylvania when he murdered his girlfriend in front of her seven-year-old daughter and her three-year-old son. The cost of illegal immigration is certainly real and significant in our Commonwealth. According to the Federation for American Immigration Reform, illegal immigration through education, police, corrections, health care, and public assistance totals $1.64 billion in Pennsylvania alone. So what does that mean to the everyday hardworking Southern New York Countyan? Well, according to the Federation's research, each household is on the hook for $318 in Pennsylvania due to illegal immigration. $318 that could go toward bills, car payments, a new appliance, you name it. Instead, it's paying for illegal immigration in the state because of the inaction on this crisis. Today, with President Biden a month removed from his State of the Union address, where he also referred to that killer as an, in his words, illegal, we have an opportunity to join states like Ohio, West Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and many other states to address this issue and secure our southern border. Securing our southern border will secure our citizens' rights right here in Pennsylvania. And the longer that the Biden administration takes to address the issue, the worse it will get. This resolution is a solution to the problem that we face and an opportunity to address this issue as a commonwealth. We get a lot of good policy done at the state level, and this is no different. So I respectfully urge my colleagues to join me in supporting Senate Resolution 251. Thank you, Mr. President.